Hey everyone and welcome for a new video. In today's video, I wanted to focus on a really nice way to make money in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, especially with Endwalker getting released uh, two weeks ago. Uh, it's even better to make money right now. So you have so many ways of making money in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, you could do uh, the treasure maps, you could do the normal gathering, so just getting product and selling them into the, into the marketing batch, uh, doing some hunt, um, but in today's video, I wanted to focus on spirit bonding and how to extract material from um, your gear. So in today's video, we will be only covering the gathering. Uh, it's pretty similar for the crafting. If you want to have a specific video on that, uh, feel free to put a comment on the description below. Uh, but in today's video, we will be uh, going through six steps uh, to be ready and to make a bunch of money. Uh, so before we go to the six steps, um, I wanted to inform that I did cut uh, with timeline the video. If you want to uh, come back to a specific moment of the video, so feel free to use that. Um, so before we start, I just want to quickly show you the price uh, on the market on my server right now for the materials that we will be um, um, uh, forming together. So the main materials that you will get will be the gatherer crasp material 10 and 9, um, the gatherer gale material X and 9, and the gatherer's garden material X and 9. So just to quickly show you the price, for one material you are making 25k, uh, here it's 60k, that one is 68k, that one is 40k, uh, that one is 10k, and the last one is 35k. So as you can see, one material is a lot of money. Here. And I just wanted to show you quickly, uh, but this gel that you are seeing here, so it's around like 2.5 million, was made yesterday in approximately two hours of farming and I was watching the TV because I was just waiting for the notes to pop that I will explain just uh, in later in the video. But I didn't really spend a lot of time to make like 2.5 million uh, gels in uh, two hours. Um, and I can show you quickly uh, the proof of that, so my sales history, you can see that I did got uh, almost all the money from yesterday, for all the money from this array with the uh, gatherer uh, gal material X. So yeah, it's a really good way of, of making money. So let's now jump into the six steps that you will have to follow uh, to get uh, to the points where you can farm this material really easily. So first you will have to level up your botanist and your miner to level 90. So I will create a video in the coming few days, three or four days, about how to um, level up your miner and botanist as fast as you can and as smart as you can as well, because fast is not always the perfect solutions. Um, the second thing that you will have to do is to uh, get the level 90 uh, gear set for your miner and for the bot botanist, but it's the same, uh, except the main uh, primary tool and the secondary tool. Um, so you have two choices here, just buy them directly on the market. I know that for me, uh, every piece were around 40k each, uh, so it was not a lot of money. Um, I did craft some of them, but not all of them, uh, because I was lazy and I didn't have the time to craft them, and I don't think they would be the end game gear either, so I didn't spend too much time uh, crafting them all. Uh, so this time I just bought them and I got my money back in like one hour, so it was really worth buying it directly. Um, so the, the third thing that you will have to, to, to get is when you are done with uh, getting the set of level 90, you will have to equip uh, the material, or meld the material on every piece of equipment. Uh, so it's, um, my advice is to put five materials into them. They don't need to be all related to gathering. Uh, the only thing about putting five materials is that the spirit bonding is going faster. Um, so uh, the only thing that you need to, 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 to get to is to have 3,100 gathering, uh, 2,990 uh, 2, in perceptions, and 900 GP. Um, and I will explain why you need 900 GP later on on the video. 
So uh, let's go through quickly uh, the different pieces and just to give you some inspirations on how I did melt my gear. Uh, it was really not expensive to uh, melt it like that. So uh, up to you and after it will be depend depending of your server as well because potentially the material will be a little bit more expensive on yours than mine. Uh, but I think it will be pretty similar. So uh, here it is for the, for the main tool, the head, the body, the hands, the legs, the feet, the secondary tool, earrings, necklace, bracelets, and the two rings. Um, so as soon as you have uh, all your gear with the pantamelds, uh, so you don't need to have the pantamelds, it's just that it's going faster. Uh, but as soon as you are getting the values that I gave you just before in gathering perceptions on GP, you will be good to go and you can start uh, to form. So the next step for you is when you are fully equipped, you will have to uh, farm the white script. Um, I will show you why. Uh, so you will need to farm the white script uh, because you will need to get the folklore tomes. So the folklore tomes are the books that you need to buy to be able to access to the legendary notes that you will need to use for uh, the spirit bonding later on. So the first thing that you have to do is to farm um, the white scripts. So uh, you can go to Rad at Han uh, to um, give your uh, items back when you are farming the white scripts. Um, so you can see uh, there, you can still, like if you are not fully level 90, you can also farm uh, the items from the pre previous extensions. Uh, I did personally uh, the one from, uh, from Endwalker. So the, the main tool that you will use is this uh, website that you should see on my screen right now. Um, so this website is really powerful and like huge uh, big up to the guy that's, uh, to the folks that created it. Uh, so you will see that the unspoiled, they are the one that you will give you the, the white script and the purple scripts, you can see it here. They will give you the meaning, uh, the class, meaning of botany. They will give you the time, the errors are time. They will tell you the IF rate that you need to teleport to be the closest to the node. They will give you the exact locations of the node and that's kind of it. Uh, usually what I'm doing is that I'm really checking if it's a white script and not the purple script uh, to make sure that I'm farming the white script. But you can just go through these different uh, locations and every two hours you will be able to jump into another one. Uh, and it's pretty easy to get the white script in like an hour or two, uh, for, yeah, two hours, let's say, uh, to get all the white script that you will require to get all the books that you will need. Uh, so for the books, uh, you, when you are gathering these items, you will have to give it to him. When you have the white scripts, you go just next to it, to the script exchange. Uh, you click here. You go to gatherer script, material misc. In the categories, you go to bait and tokens, level 90, and you will see the original folklore traders token C uh, that you will find right here. And uh, you can directly buy them with your white uh, scripts. When you have 16 uh, white scripts, uh, you can start to get your first book. Uh, and the book will be <laughs> in the next 10, so you see you don't need to go too far, uh, to the Splendors vendor. You uh, use the field craft items and you will be able to access the different terms that you will need. Um, I will advise you to only take the one from the miner and the botanist. You don't need to use the, the fisher for now because it's a little bit different. So take only the six first book. So there are 16 each. So it will be really fast for you to get all of them. So when you have all of them, you will see that when you go to the gathering log, you can go to the regional folklore and you will be able to, sorry, it was not loading correctly, but you will uh, be able to see the, uh, the item. So this one don't have anything here. So you see the world and thunder, you have the stone hard water and the rhodium sand. Uh, you have the stone hard water again and the lunar uh, adamantine ore here. So 
All the book will give you uh, different new locations, the legendary nodes that will be helpful, for, that will be used for the spirit bonding. Now that you have the books, um, what you will do is you will use the website that I just showed you just before again. And instead of going to the unspoiled uh, tab, you would go to the folklore. Uh, and this uh, tool, from this link will be on the descriptions below. Uh, but the folklore will give you exactly the locations, again, the same structure than before, but it will, will give you the access to the legendary notes. Um, and this one, these nodes will be used for the spirit bonding. I will go directly uh, just after that into a, a first session of spirit bonding and I will show you how fast it, it does. Um, so the only thing that you need to have here, and it's why I was mentioning that earlier in the video, you will need to have a perception of 2,990 to be able to see the nodes. If you are below that and you are going to the locations, you will not see the node. So you really need to be at 2,990 in perceptions. So now let's go to the, the legendary node and I will show you how to uh, get the, the items, the rotations that you need to use and how to extract the, the material just after that. So now we are at the legendary uh, nodes from uh, Tavner. Uh, so it's between 8 to 10, so it's 9.30, so we have 30 minutes, uh, hours, at, uh, hours at a time. So first, I wanted to show you the, curi the current spirit bonding of my gear. So this one is at 80%, this one is at 52%, so just let's keep these two in mind. So 80 and 52. So what you will have to do is to have 900 GP available, so I have 908, so I'm good. Start that. Uh, take the first one, so you see it uh, requires 2,990 2, perceptions, so you start to click on it. And now what you need to do is uh, do two times, do it two times. And after I start to use the ageless words, and you will have 50% chance of getting the proc of wise to the world, and wise to the world will give you an extra a gathering so I will click on it and you will see that I'm back to my normal positions so it's why you need at first get two you need to, to harvest two time to make sure that you have two slots available and after you can reuse again ageless words so I didn't add the proc that time you have only 50% chance of getting the proc so I get again I have two slots available I say ageless words again I didn't get the proc, unfortunately. Sometimes I have three proc in a row. So I still add one more proc. If I had four more proc uh, than expected this time. So let's continue. So now that we are good with the nodes, let's go back to the gear. So the first one was at 80 and the second one was at 50, 52, 52. So the first one now is at 100%. And the second one is at 79%, so I got 27% made. If I, I would have got the two extra procs, I think I would have been around uh, 90%. So it's pretty impressive to switch from 50 to 90 in one single node, meaning that you need in average two nodes and an half to get the spirit bending for all your gear. So n now when you are at 100% spirit bound, you need to right click on the um, equipment that is uh, fully spirit bounded and you click on extract materia and you say yes. And what happened is that, as you can see here, you successfully extracted gather guild materia 10. The one that is uh, costing 70K in the market. So now what you can do as well, it's a good check if you have other spirit bonds uh, equipment like that one, extract. This one is 100 as well, extract. This one as well, etc, etc. But as you can see, just now with four pieces of equipment, I got Gathera Gate Materia X, Gathera Grasp Materia X, uh, again, and a nine. So I did made 200K, 250K with few minutes of um, harvesting. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of it. Uh, we did cover the six steps that you will have to follow to be able to get uh, this uh, spirit bonding and the material up. So this method should work uh, until 6.1 when I think the material will become a little bit more popular and the price will probably be reduced. But in the coming two to three months, I think you will be good to go to use this technique and make a lot of money. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I tried to make it as short as I could, um, but it's a lot of different steps to be able to cover how it's working exactly. I saw a lot of videos in the web that were going really, really fast through it and it was difficult to get. So I wanted to spend time on every steps of the process. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. And if you did, feel free to put a little like, um, subscribe to the channel and put a little comment on the des descriptions below if you want to see uh, a specific content from me. Thank you all, have a great day.